Let's continue to multiply numbers in different bases. So now we are into base 5 counting system. And these are the symbols that we use. So let's move on. And so what are the place value? Yeah, now let's now let us explain the place values. So in base 5 we always have the first place of value is 0, 5 raised to the power of 0, which is equivalent to 1. The next one is 5 raised to the power of 1, which is group of 5s. And 5 raised to the power of 2, which is 5 of 5, which is 25. So let's, let's just stay within this. So for example, if we have three groups of five and three outside, multiply by four. So we have three times four is 12. Yeah, what is 12 in base five? So 12 in base five is to do, do that, you have to ask the question, how many fives goes into 12, yeah? And so, 12, 5 goes into 12 two times, and the remainder is 2. So this is essentially base 5 now. Yeah. 2 remainder 2. Well, let, let's do it quick. You know? So it will be 2 remainder 2. That's your answer. But you could also write this as 2 groups of 5 with two outside base five. This is essentially the same thing. So three times four is two remainder two in base five. Now let's go to the next one. So four times three is still the same. It's still going to be 12. But that 12, yes, is essentially worth 25 each. So essentially what we're talking here, it will be how many, well, it's a thing is basically how many fives, you know, how many fives are there in 12 is the same thing. It's two, two fives and two remainders, which we're going to put in here. So we'll have two yeah, plus two is four. And then the two in here goes on top. So what we're having is this one means we bring this down because not there's nothing else. What this means is there are two 25s, four fives, and two ones. So the answer of three, three in base five times four in base five is two, four, two in base five well that took a long time to explain but i hope it's clear so let's continue we're not going to write this one again here but we'll just pretend that they exist when we have some, uh, talking about base five so let's let's see so for example we're going to have two four times five uh, let's just say times two. Let's do that. All in base five. So two times four is eight. How do you write eight in base five? Right? So you kind of say how many eights goes to five? It'll be one remainder three. In other words, you could write this as one group of three one group of five and three remainder in base five. So your answer here is one group of five and three outside three remainders. This is in base five. So the next thing would be two times two is four. Can we write four? Yes, we can write four so, but that's four plus one, that will be five, yeah. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. So your answer is 5, 3 in base 5. 
homework time. So you get a lot of practice with this. So what is one, two, three times four in base five? We could also see, uh, we could also have two, zero, four times two. Well, let's do, let's say times three, all in base five. Let me know your answers in the comment section below and I'll... I'll see you in the next episode, which is really base 4.